Hey, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Let's go check out and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Shapti. They're out of St. Louis. Uh, this is their Oktoberfest beer. Uh, this beer is a Marzen slash Oktoberfest type beer coming in at 5.10 ABV. The, uh, they're located, like I said, in St. Louis. Uh, the food pairings of this is German. The glassware is a pint, the becker, the stein, the mug, about anything you want to pour it in, just pour it into something. The beer is not recommended for extended cellaring, so you shouldn't try to keep this beer. If you get it, go ahead and drink it up. Uh, just cap off this thing and see what we got. Year-round serving, they say on this, so I don't really know if they make this beer all year long or if they just do it year after year after year. Well, let's get it in the glass. Uh, I'm pretty fond of their beers. Uh, I didn't pour it too aggressive. It pours a really clear beer. It is a uh, fairly orangey, coppery color. Looks pretty good in the glass. A lot of bubbles stringing up from the bottom. So let's see what this one smells like. Yeah, the, the typical Mars and Oktoberfest smell. You're going to get uh, a bready, yeasty, caramelly smell to it. And I get a little. It's just me, but I get a little little saltiness off of the breadiness uh, of, of these type of beers. They taste a little salty to me. But it smells very good in the glass. Uh, should be pretty sessionable at 5% ABV. So, cheers everybody. Very clean. Bready. Salty to me. Got the caramel, a little bit of the, the, the maltiness going on there from the malt. Very easy drinking, very sessionable, a, a good representation of the style. Could have just a little more flavor to it to me though. A little on the watery side. But then again, uh, uh, if you get too much, too much of that in there, you're gonna to want to get you'll get filled up on the heaviness of it. So, pretty light, pretty sessionable. Got a nice caramelly, bready taste to it there. So, guys, we're gonna let it warm up right out of the fridge. See if we get anything different. But uh, pretty tasty beer. Uh, not blowing my socks off or hearing my hair back, but tasty beer, good session beer. So, stick around. I'll be right back with the final chug. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. Got a little left here in the glass. Uh, this is a good representation of style. Not too heavy, not too potent. It's not out in left field or anything, or or, or anything that's strapped that's going to blow your palate away. Pretty sessionable, pretty easy going, uh, uh, slightly above average beer is what I'm getting off of this. So guys, final chug. Very sessionable, a little on the watery side. I could get just a little more taste out of it. I'm getting the caramelly, bready, just a little bit of crackery, salty taste to me too. So that's what I get out of the Mars and type beers. But uh, pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it the, uh, I'm gonna give it a five. It's a B minus. It's a, it's a B beer. It's definitely a B beer. It's above average. But like I said, it's not blowing my hair back or anything. Uh, Rate beer has a 77 overall. And a 95 in the style, so I mean they're saying it's fitting the style pretty well. So beer having comes up with a B also on this one. So uh, I could have probably gave it a B. Didn't see the date on the bottle. I wish they'd put the dates on this. I know this is here's edition. Uh, here it is, right on the bottom. Bottle with love on 08, 05, 2011. So guys, 
with that last little bit of information, we're going to bring it up to the B. It's a 6 on the scale. Guys, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. That's how much the dates mean to me, guys. It'll, it'll, it'll pull it up, a, you know, a scale there. So, if you've had it, you you like it, don't like it, let me try. If you like the Morris type beers, I think you'll like this one. Pretty sessionable, guys. Always rate, comment, subscribe, and come on back tomorrow. Let's see what's in the fridge. And as always, hit that like button if you like it. And if you need a syrup, give me a shout. See ya.